Hello friends. So here we are going to learn the numerical based on gamma function and we will solve it by using the properties and the definition of gamma function. So for that we have the integration from 0 to 1 x log x the whole bracket raised to 4 dx now how to evaluate this integral so guys to solve it by gamma function let us understand the definition of gamma function so as per the definition of gamma function the value of gamma n is integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus x x raised to n minus 1 dx so it means in the integration we should have two functions one must be exponential other must be algebraic and the power of exponential function must be minus x if we are integrating with respect to x or e raised to minus t in case of dt with that the other term must be algebraic and its power can be anything so if we get such type of form then we can say that it is equal to gamma n now guys you can observe one more thing that the power of x is n minus 1 whereas the value inside the gamma is n. It means this value is always 1 greater than the power of x. So it means we have to bring our integration in this format. So let's start with this. Now in our case we have one term as algebraic which is x raised to 4 and the other term is logarithmic that is log x raised to 4. But as per the gamma function, we want one term as exponential. So now, guys, let's convert that log term into exponential term. So before doing that, I would like to tell you the general form of such type of questions. So you can compare like any question with that general form and you can get the answer by just doing the normal observation. So guys. Here I am going to show you the general form. So whenever you get integration like this, let's say 0 to a, I would say here. And let's say you have log of x raised to n term into dx. Then in such cases, we put log of x equals to minus t. So this becomes x equal to e raised to minus t by taking the base as e on both sides and then differentiating both sides we can get the value of dx which will be in terms of exponential term so guys in it means whenever we get log term in the integration we can put log x as minus t and we can then convert it into the definition of gamma function so now in our question we have the log x term okay x raised to 4 term is extra no worries it is the algebraic term and we want the algebraic term for the definition of gamma function so since we have the log term we will just put that log x as minus t and we'll convert it into the definition of gamma function so here i'll say let this integral i equals to Now, here I'll say put log of x equal to minus t. So, x is e raised to minus t. So, therefore, dx is equal to minus e raised to minus t dt. Now, let's discuss the limits. So, for x, we have from 0 to 1. Now see, let's observe it for t. So when x is 0, here we will get log 0. And the value of log 0 is negative infinity. So negative infinity is equal to negative t. We can cancel negative, negative sign and t will be infinity. Next, x is 1. So when x is 1, this log 1 will give us 0. So t will be 0. So it means... The limit has changed from 0 to 1 to infinity to 0. Now let's substitute all these values 
here in the integration. So I will become integration infinity to 0 the new limits x raised to 4 so x is e raised to minus t this raised to 4 would be e raised to minus of 4 t next log x raised to 4 log x is minus t so minus t raised to 4 is t raised to positive 4 next dx is negative e raised to minus t dt now we can take this negative sign outside and if we want to make this integration positive then we will interchange the limits so here this will become i equal to negative integration from infinity to 0 this will become e raised to minus 5t into t raised to 4 here i'll write it down e raised to minus 5t into t raised to 4 dt now we can make this integration positive by interchanging the limits so positive integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus 5t into t raised to 4 dt and now guys it got converted into the definition of gamma function but you can observe carefully that one more term we have to convert and that is nothing but the power of e so here the power of e is minus 5t but we want minus t as the power so to make it we will do one more substitution so here i'll say now put 5t equals to z so dt will be dz upon 5 and here we can say that t is equal to z by 5 also if you discuss the limits then when t is 0 this will become 5 into 0 that is 0 so z will be 0 and for infinity z will be infinity so limits will be unchanged so here i'll say therefore i is equal to integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus z because 5t is z t raised to 4 so this raised to 4 will become z raised to 4 upon 5 raised to 4 into dt which is dz upon 5 so now this will become 1 upon 5 raised to 5 and i'll take it outside the integration since it is constant and in the integration we will get e raised to minus z into z raised to 4 dz now this is exactly matching with the definition of gamma function so the power of z is 4 so inside the gamma we will get 5 so the value of this is 1 upon 5 raised to 5 into gamma 5 and we all know that gamma 5 is 4 factorial so here we have a property that gamma n is n minus 1 factorial so here we have gamma 5 which is 4 factorial so we can say here that it is 4 factorial upon 5 raised to 5 so it means guys we have solved this numerical and we got that the value of integration from 0 to 1 x log x whole raised to 4 dx is equal to 4 factorial upon 5 raised to 5 with the help of properties of gamma function and the definition of gamma function. So I know you must have liked this video and if you want to learn more such videos on engineering mathematics then do not forget to log in to ekinet.com today itself and you can also follow us on Facebook or Twitter you can just search ekida on Facebook or Twitter and you can follow the ekira. Thank you.